So when I was at university, I started off in a Bachelor of Science and um, I wasn't really sh entirely sure on what I wanted to do. I transferred and gave engineering like one year and then I really enjoyed it. Gave it a second year and was still really enjoying it. Um, and then I did a summer internship. It was a challenging experience and it really made me think if this, if this is really what I want to do, like do I really want to be an engineer? And you know what, I stuck through it and <laughs> I'm still here, I'm still an engineer. So I'm what's called an asset management consultant or asset management engineer. Um, basically what we do is we have a look at assets and how much maintenance they're going to require for um, over their life cycle and um, what strategies to develop to take care of those assets. I really enjoy asset management because it is, it's such a broad discipline. It takes into account like, you know, you, the design of your assets, it takes into account um, the maintenance required for them, the strategy development and also financial planning, how much you're going to spend on those assets. One of the projects I worked on recently was with the South Australian Department of Planning, Transport and Infrastructure. So in this project, we condition assessed over 100 um, bridges and culverts, starting from about seven kilometres south of the Northern Territory border all the way down to Adelaide. Um, in this project, it was very, very important, like being in a remote location, it's very important in communicating with people where you are, but also I was working for three weeks straight with someone I'd never met before. I guess that's where my Oricon attribute of co-creative comes in. Future trends that we're seeing in asset management is utilisation of more technology, more exciting technology, such as the use of drones, for example. So using that to, to film different assets and do a visual condition assessment of those assets. Also using virtual reality or photogrammetry. So we can take a 360 degree camera and place that in a building and it will take 360 degree photos and then you can move that camera around the building so it takes basically like a 3D model. I like working at Oricon because it's a progressive company so you can come from any walk of life and you feel welcome here, you feel like your opinion is valid and it's also a very good company to come into as a female engineer, it's a very um, encouraging environment. My number one piece of advice for grads coming into the workforce is use your personal networks as much as you can. So as cliche as networking sounds, it is really important for you to get out there and start talking to people.